I must ask before we continue, am I going to agree with anything they say here? Or is this going to turn into a very stupid conversation? Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And guess what? What? Uh, sissy, sissy men are banned in China. Yes, that's, I heard about this. Sissy effeminate men. Sissy effeminate men. This is uh, China's new entertainment mandate. Uh, so this is going to be really awkward for Hollywood, isn't it? So I don't know. I want to know what they define as sissy man. Well, not even 30 seconds in, they already took a shot at Hollywood, who has nothing to do with this whatsoever. Yes. We're going to talk about that, and it's very curious. I thought it was I thought it was funny they're running Q-Force right next to it. <laughs> I'm guessing Q-Force won't be running in China. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, so this is going to this is going to definitely force uh, Hollywood to make some some really tough choices. Well, I'm just thinking I watch a lot of C drama and K dramas and stuff like that. And I'm trying to think of some of the actors and stuff over there. And, you know, I like depending on what the guidelines are, I'm like, what are they going to do? Because there's a few people I can think of in shows I've watched that I'm like, well, would they would they constitute as, you know, what sissy they're saying? Men? Yeah, which I think I, don't, I think it's crap calling people sissy men. But anyway, sissy men. Anyway, uh, David Bowie banned probably uh, forever from China. You're not going to be able I'm to. like, I would like to know what sissy and means, honestly, the fine sissy for me. We're going to learn what what constitutes a sissy man in, in China uh, before we get into it. Probably a man who's not like yoked. If any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, guys. We're over 234,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Yeah, this has been making the rounds. Uh, got dropped a week or two ago that China's got new guidelines. You know, in addition to, you know, banning video games, you know, for teenagers, now you're not allowed to be a sissy man either. They're banning abnormal aesthetics, including, including effeminate, effeminate men, men and sissy idols. What other abnormal Keep in mind, this is the same shit that um, Republicans here want to do. Like, they've talked about banning this stuff forever. Well, aesthetics and they ban it. I gotta, I gotta see this. Okay, so what defines this? Okay, so this is President Xi. Uh, China has issued a ban on sissy men appearing in any media in the country as part of a crackdown on abnormal aesthetics. What about manly looking women? Well, I don't know. Uh, so far, it's mostly sissy men. Okay. The country's National Radio and Television Administration is seeking to limit depictions of sissy idols and effeminate men, Variety reports. The new edict sent to China's broadcasters as part of the CCP's effort to limit celebrity culture and its resulting influence on the country's younger generation. So this goes along with the video game ban. Okay. You're only allowed to play games like three hours a week. Basically, we're trying to, well, we're trying to, to, to minimize, like, Hollywood Western influences. I wouldn't say Western because a lot of the stuff comes from Japan too. In Korea, especially. Yeah. You know, K -pop. Korea. Uh, censors accused. Most of it is coming from like the West. Like Korean, Japanese stuff. Not all that popular in China, oddly enough. The entertainment industry of severely polluting the social atmosphere and demanded they instead highlight traditional Chinese culture, revolution culture, and socialist culture. Oh, surprise. Shocker. The they're not, they're not socialists at all. They're not even revolutionaries. They're just dickheads. CCP said it would create a correct beauty standard. Oh my God. For broadcasters to. See, they're crying about this, but they've literally complained about the same shit in their show before. Like they've whined about like sissy men, men who don't meet like the beauty standard. They've done it with women too. Like they're complaining about it. They do the same thing to follow and order them to avoid popular idol audition shows and to sideline those who have gone against public order and morals. Oh boy. China's new broadcast. Any Americans out there, who else talks about, you know, public order and morals? Who does that over here? Just, just out of curiosity, who does this a lot here? Who? What side of this political aisle? Who does this? Standards are part of uh, Xi's national, is it Xi or Xi? I don't know, Xi probably. Um, oh, that sounds like a sissy man's name. <laughs> Pooh Bear, call him Pooh Bear. Uh, national it. Rejuvenation Program. Look, you call him Pooh Bear. Everybody call him Pooh Bear. He hates it. He hates being called Pooh because people make fun of him for looking like Winnie the Pooh. Call him Pooh. He hates it. With the CCP tightening its control over culture. You want to piss off a tanky. You call fucking G Winnie the Pooh in front of him. They lose their shit. 
education, businesses, and religion. Uh, China's pop stars, emulating the style of male singers and actors from Japan and Korea, yeah. have come under scrutiny for not encouraging men in the country to be more masculine. There are, like, a lot of the C or the K-pop and the J-pop uh, singers, they do try to, like, wear makeup, and they do, like, make them look kind of... I don't know if it's, like, to make them look less, less threatening or what, but they do have a very effeminate look a lot of times. This... Because what we consider masculine and feminine is different than what they consider masculine and feminine. That's how this works. Different societies and nations have different meanings. It's actually quite interesting to look into. Like, w like our definitions are completely different from their definitions in uh, terms of, like, what, so socially speaking, is, like, very manly and very effeminate. Um, like, especially, like, like um, outward appearances can be very fucking like jarring when you actually pay attention this i guess is is a, is, way of saying it. is a sissy man well look at all the flowers real men like flowers i know i i mean i don't get i don't get girl from him well he's a sissy idol apparently yeah um they're gonna clean up the sissy idols this is uh uh roy wang Wan. is that right a boy group tf boys well sounds like tough boys two feminine boys is what that <laughs> stands no, but I mean, the shirt, take the shirt, okay, change the shirt, and it doesn't look that bad. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, apparently he's not good. No, even if you change the shirt, like, to the West, this looks very effeminate. Like, the shirt does nothing for him. But, like, even without it, it's like, yeah, very, like, woman-like. Not, not, not to take nothing away from this person, but, like, it looks very, like, feminine. Not anymore. Um... So, yeah, the broadcast ban used a derogatory term for offended men. Uh, is it Yang Pao, which translates to girly guns? <laughs> and stated the broadcaster oh should resolutely. Those pink ARs that were big over here for a long time, like girly guns. Absolutely put an end to sissy men and other abnormal aesthetics. Oh uh, my god. Okay. Uh, so you can't make this stuff up. Homosexuality isn't illegal. You don't have to make it up. Go on to right wing Twitter and you will see. The exact same shit. Like, people demanding this stuff be banned, people demanding it be blocked. The same people these guys cater to in their comments. They will back this kind of thing here in the States. Because they see it as some kind of threat to their, um... Their, like, manly men masculinity bullshit. Legal in China, but neither is it widely accepted. Uh, China censors regularly edit or ban LGBTQ content, including uh, cutting depictions of Freddie Mercury's gay relationships in Bohemian Rhapsody. I am surprised that that even made it over there. Yeah, I am too. Because meanwhile, Disney can't get anything over there. Uh, but they get they got Luca over there. Oh yeah, Luca. They got Luca. You know, so I yeah. Was, and which but the 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 director said flat out it was friends. They were friends. Bohemian Rhapsody makes me angry, though, because it was historically inaccurate. Uh, the ways. timelines of everything. Uh, anyway, I mean, I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd be down with a Freddie Mercury biopic, but it's like this isn't this isn't accurate. The timeline is not accurate. Uh, Call Me By Your Name suddenly pulled from the Beijing International Film Festival with no reason given. Sissy men. Blame was placed on the CCP's moves to gain tighter control of the media and entertainment. Earlier this year, LGBTQ people in China criticized authorities after dozens of accounts were removed from social media platform WeChat. Uh, a number of student-ran accounts tied to LGBTQ groups are... Just, just, just going to point this out. And this. Just... Like, are you fucking kidding me? This... This. Look. 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 Could you tell if the nation's were, names were removed? Could you tell any of this was from a different nation? Could you? A again, they're whining about this. They're literally, their fucking supporters literally back this shit here all the fucking time. University campuses were blocked and then deleted from the platform without warning with attempts to... What the fuck was it? Um, I can't remember his name. I think I think it was Styles. He wore a dress for a photo shoot. These guys' fans lost their shit. 
Like every right winger, they lost their shit. Because he wore a dress. And you can't wear a dress because it's bad for some reason. It's the same shit. It's just that they don't fucking get it. They they, they ab- advocate for this shit themselves. And yet they're whining about it when China does it because it's China and China's bad. But I guarantee you, if a video game came out tomorrow that had a dude acting very feminine as the main character when it wasn't in the past, they would be the first to jump over it as being like very sissy. Visit them producing a message that they had violated China's internet regulations. Um, Hollywood, you still want to... Still want See, to here's the thing. This is what happens when you let certain groups run everything. Um... Okay, before they go into their stupid little rant. Hollywood's capitalist. They have to cater to the biggest market. That's China. Maybe you're on the wrong side of this little fight if you don't agree with that. You know, then... But we see some similar stuff to this now. But, I mean, it, it's really bad over there. Um, but they say what these... What these um these these types of like they're bad like how what how you look is bad like they said they're what they call that the aesthetic (laughs) some in china i didn't know this some in china also see the popularity of of these uh, idols often referred to as little fresh meat as a threat to traditional social values little fresh meat that's my rap name little fresh meat meat. little fresh i'm not so fresh anymore though i'm getting kind of old but a uh, little fresh meat. I just, I just know, like I watch these shows, and there are definitely some actors that I've seen that I, I can kind of, I can see. But I also, like, I've seen these shows too that they, where they have, like, they, they think the girls like pretend to be a boy for some reason. It's very gentleish, and the, I mean, and then it turns out it's a girl, but it, the guy thinks it's a guy, and then like, oh, I might love another dude, and that's okay. I mean, is that gonna fly? Probably not. Can we talk, like that's pretty fucked up, right? Like, why is that, like, played off as a joke? And why is it played off always like the guy is, like, wrong for doing it? Why does it matter? Like, that is a pretty fucked up trope when you think about it. Uh, so a lot of, yeah, this, I guess, I guess these would be sissy, sissy men, sissy idols. Uh, other boy. Cut the hair right here and have it swoop over. These guys would be crying about that haircut. Cuts. The guidelines listed include people who have broken laws or whose behavior and speech have gone against public order and morals, as well as idle audition shows um, and the encouragement of malicious fan culture. Well, hey, you know, I, I, the, the, yeah, the fan culture can get bad. Oh, overseas and like in like Korea and stuff, it's insane. Uh, I'm just like, what the hell? I- weren't these guys just like celebrating how great the fans are and how awesome that they have passion for everything was? Like, when it's their fucking shit, but when somebody else does it in the same level or a little bit more, it's insane. I watch these shows and how they, how they have to live, you know, the, a lot of times they, they live over there because of this. I mean, according to these shows, I mean, it's the truth. But from what I've heard by people who live there, they said, yeah, it can get that crazy. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> last week a billionaire actress was uh, blacklisted and her entire internet presence was scrubbed with the explanation. Could something like this happen over here? I worry about that because mm-hmm. I'm like, what if we, what if we let some uh, zealots, you know? No, because she's a billionaire. This would never happen here. Uh, you know, run everything, and all of a sudden, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, minor infraction in, in your social media is scrubbed. I mean, we're already seeing it with with uh, more extreme voices, but you know, could they move the goalpost and be like, if you spread any thing that we don't like or say something we don't like we're just gonna we're gonna boot you from the internet we're gonna okay one it's a private platform you have no right to it it's no different than walmart yeah you can shop there they allow you on the property but if you break their rules they can throw you out of it they can have the police arrest you for trespass i've seen it happen like technically speaking under u.s law you have no right to use it now, there is ways around this, but every time it's suggested, you guys cry about it. Like, you seem to want the government to take over private platforms owned by people private, privately, and then, like, just let whatever happens with it happens with zero moderation, which would never be a thing anyway. I don't think you know what you're saying when you guys suggest this kind of shit. Because, like, their whole argument is, well, why don't the government step in and force them to platform us? So you want a nationalized platform? No, we don't want the government controlling it. 
So how do they... Do I don't care, just do it. How? Like, it all leads back to a nationalized platform, and every time you bring it up, they lose their shit for it. You, you can't have a private platform that behaves like that. It would never fly because they are liable. Like, if you're spreading death threats on their platform and they do nothing about it, they can be held accountable for it. You can't do it. It's also hilarious that they're like, well, they censored people in China. What's stopping them from doing it here? Well, nothing. It's not a nationalized platform. They can do whatever they want. The government can't. That's illegal. If they're doing it to you, you should probably get a hold of a lawyer, like a constitutional lawyer, and immediately have him take it to case. Because that is an easy win all around. The government cannot censor you. Only under very specific situations, like for the public safety. Which is very hard to prove, by the way. Because it has to prove that you are, in fact, harming the public in some like physical way. It's one of the reasons why um, COVID misinformation was able to be cracked down pretty fast was because that is provably harming the public. But like, just like just saying something that people don't like isn't harming the public. Uh, you know, destroy your well, career. Well, they kind of doing that somewhat. Well, they said this one guy got in trouble, up and coming actor, was blacklisted because he had an old selfie at Japan's one shrine. And it was honors Japanese soldiers, among them the criminals from World War II court. Well, China was, weren't they bombed by Japan yeah. in World War II? But, um, what was that? Japan yeah. in World War II. Shrine. And it was honors Japanese soldiers, among them the criminals from World War II court. Well, China was, weren't they bombed by Japan yeah. in World War II? Uh, it wasn't bombed. They committed massive atrocities in China. Like, it's pretty fucked up. Like, why is there something honoring these soldiers? Why? These guys were criminals. I mean, this this is even like the German thing where, like, yeah, a lot of them were and some weren't. No, most of these guys were criminals. Like, if they fought in China, they were fucking criminals, period, point blank. They all committed atrocities and crimes. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is there why is there something honoring these people? Well, I know why, because they fucking They fucking ignore it. They were not punished for it, they ignore it. They pretend it never fucking happened. It's not even taught in their fucking history books anymore. It's like but to fucking just offhandedly say it was it's fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. It's so da it's downplaying so much. That should never be forgotten ever. It's just fucked up beyond a belief. But I'm like, so it sounds like they're not even giving people a chance. Like, okay, well, hey, take that down or something. I don't know. This is nuts. Uh, yeah. So this is this is what uh, this is what uh, uh, communism looks like. <laughs> Wait, go back. Uh, no, it's fucking not. This is what authoritarianism looks like. Up here, they're gonna love this too. Um, I don't know how to say her name. Uh, I don't know how to say her name. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it because I'm I, sure I, she's going to be listening to one this. One of video. the most popular. Act See, here's how you know this isn't like communism. This exists. Period. This does not exist under communism whatsoever. Like it's it's not a thing. Not to mention, this would not be a fucking thing. Actresses in China was banned from working at the beginning of the year after a surrogacy scandal. Last month, she was also ordered to pay a $46.1 million fine for tax evasion. Well, that happens here in the States, too. You know, uh, people don't pay their taxes for like 10 years. <laughs> All right, here, here's a list. Eight points released, okay? Uh, they are two very different things. That was not not paying taxes. Boycott illegal and immoral personnel when selecting entertainers as guests. Radio, television, internet platforms should not employ people who have incorrect political okay, stance. Okay, this is already happening. Break laws and regulations or speaker behavior against public order and morals. Yeah, that's kind of. Uh, one, no, it's not. This is like a choice by the broadcaster, not by the government. Like again, they can choose who they associate with. You cannot force yourself onto their platforms happens here it's already happening um, here. boycott traffic only standards idol selection shows cannot be shown as well as shows starring the children of celebrities shows who strictly control voting cannot induce and encourage fans to shop or buy membership in order to vote for their idols 
Boycott an overly entertaining trend. Promote traditional, <laughs> oh my God. traditional it's, culture. It's too entertaining. We have to stop it. We're already doing that over here. Well, that show is too entertaining. We have to um, stop that. This isn't happening. You idiots. Like, like, stop downplaying authoritarianism and outright fucking fascism by pretending like it's happening here, lol. No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. It's nowhere near this fucking bad. I actually pity people when she was here. This she was well, this is North Korea. Um, boycott an over overly entertaining trend. Promote traditional culture. Establish a correct beauty standard. Boycott sissy idols. Boycotting daunting wealth. Bo gossip or vulgar internet celebrities. Oh my god. Boycott high pay in the entertainment industry. Oh my god. Strictly regulate payment for guests. Encourage celebrities to participate in charity shows. Punish fake contracts and tax evasion. I do like this. <laughs> like. I do like this on some level, like, yeah, pay people properly, participate in charity, yes, because it's it's a band-aid over a fucking gushing wound, but it's something. And, like, yeah, don't, like, be a dick with contracts or evade your taxes. Taxes are important. They pay for stuff we use. Well, you know. No, fake contracts and tax evasion. Regulate showbiz staff. Enforce licensing television hosts. Provide professional and moral training. Entertainers should not use their profession of fame to gain profit. But what, well, what? Hollywood's screwed. Hollywood is screwed. Promote professional uh, commentary in the entertainment. They can't help themselves. It's, it's Hollywood. Ha <laughs> ha, Hollywood. What? It's like they're so fucking stupid. They don't understand the difference between, like, an authoritarian regime... Imposing its will on people and, like, you not allowed to say the N-word on Twitter. Industry. Insist on correct political direction and values. Criticize the fake, ugly, and evil values. <laughs> A.K. what these guys do on their channel daily. Entertainment Association should provide more training and establish mechanisms for industry regulation, as well as criticize bad examples. Shame. Regulators need... Again, on principle, I don't mind this, like... Yeah, regulation is good, especially with the workers' participation. And yeah, criticizing bad ideas and examples is very important socially to keep them, like, not being fucking a big deal. Like, if you criticize and, like, poke fun at really stupid people, they tend to shut the fuck up. Need to be more accountable. Listen to the people and respond to their concerns. Fill public space with positive and mainstream shows. Oh, boy. There it is, guys. Yeah. Like, some of these are like, okay, on principle, I kind of agree, but it's like, it's an authoritarian regime forcing this on people, which is wrong in every way. Hollywood's screwed. Hollywood is absolute. Hollywood's got nothing to do with this. Uh, of course, you gotta look at comments. Absolutely screwed. No, they're not. Um, they're starting to go after India instead. Yeah, that, well, you know what? Is that why they're chasing India now? They, like, dropped China? They, did they know this was coming? Did Disney know this I was coming? I don't know. Um... Is uh, Shang Chi uh, too much of a sissy man? Is that why they're not? No, actually, they kept saying that they, that a lot of people that were seeing the trailer kept saying that that they were they were mad because he was he was he was unattractive. Oh, okay. I mean, that was them saying it, not me. I'm just saying that's what they were saying, and they're like, it's very stereotypical, and that that's a, that he wasn't a very attractive example, and that they were mad because he should be more attractive than that. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, go look You have up. to enforce, you have to enforce correct beauty standards. Correct beauty standards and correct opinions. Go look on right-wing Twitter, where these guys have most of their fans. They are trying to enforce correct beauty standards and political thought. Like, they're doing the same thing, and they're, like, crying about, like, this boogeyman they've created. <sighs> All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Fuck these two. They're downplaying an authoritarianism, making jokes about it, all the while pretending like getting banned off Twitter for saying the N-word is the same as a government finding billions of dollars for showing this on the screen. Like, there's no self-awareness or intelligence between these two. There's one brain cell. They have to share it, and they have to throw it back and forth like it's a fucking tennis ball while they're recording. <laughs> 